Okay, I thought I would show you how I did the little pear versus the, the little strawberry. And the first thing I did was use some scissors and just snipped off the two outer leaves. And then that became kind of like just my little leaf topper for my pear. But when I first saw the punch, because it shows in the packaging this direction, that was the first thing I thought of was a pear. And the tools that I use are these little foam eye makeup applicators. And what I do is these particular ones I was able to buy in bulk and they're double ended but the ones at like Walmart and Dollar Tree are just single ended but you want to make sure it's this little foamy stuff and not the because these are denser and not that like real open work foam because they don't work then the colors for the pear I used were Cajun Craze, Old Olive, Mossy Meadow, Crushed Curry, and the early espresso I used with this stamp to add in all of the little, like, dots. And that was just to create dimension, you know, with the eye, so to speak. So, what I did first on the pair, I'm not sure if I can remember which, <laughs> which side I used for what. Or, you know, for what color, is I started, I loaded some color onto the sponge. And I gave myself just my little bright area there in the, the center of the pear. Then, using the old olive, me and these ink pads, we have a time. <laughs> Get some of that had actually used the one that's a shade darker in this in the same on the same side and then if you'll notice I'm keeping the little applicator more flat than using it on its tip and that's so that the ink will blend rather than just be a bold edge there that then I can't get to blend out did this all the way around and then I want to actually blend it right into that little yellow section and every pair you make is going to be different they're never all going to be the same because when pears grow on trees they all look different we have pear trees in our backyard and I love to paint pears so actually creating the pear from the strawberry shape was right up my alley, so to speak. Okay, then I want to bring in a little bit of the reddish because what I was doing was thinking of all the different colors that are incorporated into a pear. And there's various shades of greens, there's red tints, there's yellow tints. So the Cajun Craze, to, for me, was the perfect reddish color to pull in and just deepen that yellow area. Then I sometimes, because... When I'm painting pears, I'm constantly going into different colors of paint and adding more and blending and such as that. So I kind of do the same with this so that I want to put just a little bit more of that yellow back over the top of it so that it brightens it somewhat. Then take the, what is it, Mossy Meadow. And... Then I want to add a dark edge so that it makes the pear look dimensional and it kind of makes it look round. So I like that. Okay. 
okay, I guess I could go on and add a little bit of this onto the leaf. It, there wasn't a whole lot involved in the little leaf, basically just laying in some color so that it could just sit on top of the, the pear. I'll use some yellow and because actually the leaves on the pear trees have lots of varying colors in them as well. So then the early espresso. And then what I did was just kind of looked at my dot pattern and found a little area just to add some color and then just stamp those dots around, you know, just around that one edge because pears have lots of little brown spotty dot areas in them especially as they age, and then you would just attach your little leaf, and there's your little pear, and all I did here was just colored one of the flowers a little bit and added it just because I was playing around with it, but that's basically all it is to do the little pear.